Hello dear listeners in this video we shall solve question answers based on the context they are called rtc reference to context in this a context is given and few questions have been asked and we have to answer the questions on the basis of the context let's read the context first part b read these lines from the poem and answer the questions that follow long long afterward in an oak i found the arrow still unbroke and the song from the beginning to end i found again in the heart of a friend so dear students this is the context taken from the poem the arrow and the song now let's read the questions based on this context where was the arrow found well the answer will be the arrow was found in an oak tree question number 2 how did the speaker learn that the song he had sung a long time ago was received well the question implies that how did the speaker know that the words he spoke once hurt someone's feelings it is written in the poem that the speaker found the song lying in his friend's heart his friend might have felt bad for these words question number 3 unbroke is not a word in english why do you think the poet uses it in the poem yes we know that unbroke is not any word break broke broken these are the two other forms of verb break but the poet has used this for the sake of rhyme he wanted to rhyme some word with oak so oak unbroke question number 4 What do you think the speaker wishes to convey through the examples of the arrow and the song In this question the speaker wants to convey the main idea of the poem the theme of the poem the gist of the poem The speaker wishes to convey the very idea that one should speak very gentle and kind words one should not be harsh or rude in his words because just like an arrow your words can never be taken back when we shoot an arrow it cannot come back we cannot retrieve it in the same way words once spoken cannot come back into our mouth now let's jump on to the c part think and answer how does this quotation connect with the theme of the poem dear listeners quotation means words said by someone and we are using those words without any alteration the quotation goes like be careful with your words once they are said they can be only forgiven not forgotten the question is does this quotation stands true to this poem also the answer is yes the quotation very much matches to our poem the same thing has been conveyed through this poem the given quotation is apt it means appropriate it connects to the poem well the arrow once shot cannot be retrieved we cannot get it back anyhow similarly harsh words once spoken cannot be taken back as an arrow can kill a person similarly harsh words rude words can kill someone's feelings sentiments or relationships harsh words can wound a heart so we must be very careful and cautious before speaking anything we must never forget that kindness breeds kindness and it remains in people's memory and heart for a long time just like good songs do so we should be very gentle polite and kind 
in our words thanks for watching the video